How are you guys? Soccer Doc here. In this video, we're going to be breaking down Ruby Petrus's head collision injury, what happened on the medical side, and how long we expect him to come back. So guys, as we take a look at the clip here, as you're seeing Co Connor Cody coming into the tackle here, his knee collides right against Rui Petrucio's head. As you see, Rui Petrucio's head just even gets torted out into this angle here. Connor Cody's head comes into straight impact right alongside his head. Now, when you're looking at a brain injury, a traumatic brain injury, what happened in this case scenario, it seems as if you had this external force just coming across the, the head here, coming right across the brain. And when we look at the anatomy of the brain in our head, we have, you see that the brain sits right between the skull bones, right? between there whenever you have this high impact force what causes what happens to the brain is it has to toss it tosses back and forth within the head the brain suddenly has to jolt from backwards to forwards and when it does this a slight collision can happen between the soft brain tissue and the hard bone surface of our skull and this can cause tissue damage to the brain some brain injury tissue damage and now when this happens this is why when a player can suddenly not only feel pain in his head but also some players can even lose consciousness at that point they may because many motor aspects of our brain many aspects of our brain will control our motor function some players will lose arm function for a quick second or they may their legs may get wobbly things like that can happen as you saw in the clip where Patricio even did this with his hands his hands came right back so it seems like it even affected his motor function in a quick way he may even have lost some of his alertness in the moment maybe even got unconscious for a few seconds so it seems like that's what happened with his brain injury here now the good news is that as soon uh, uh, at least an hour after this injury happened at least half an hour his coach Nuno Spirito Santo came out and said Rui was was doing well he was conscious he was alert he was aware so these three things alertness consciousness and just being aware of your environment where you are is a good sign that he's going to recover well after an athlete suffers a concussion during the game that's the main thing we're looking for alertness awareness how aware how alert they are to what just happened can they remember what just happened or sometimes after after brain injury amnesia can happen and after can lose memory of what happened can they remember what just happened so these three signs are all good signs that really is looking well now the third thing that they're going to do exams for well one it's it's probably they may do a ct scan on Rui, you know, judging by how he's doing, because of how long he was on the floor for, they may do a CT scan. This is usually done on moderate to more severe brain injuries. A CT scan will be a brain scan to see the amount of tissue damage to his brain. This may be performed with Rui Patricio. Now, another thing, they may perform x-rays because of the angle that Connor Cody's knee hit his head. He may have fractured either a bone of his eye socket or a bone of his forehead. He may have fractured one of these skull bones. And if he did, it's very important to know so because this is going to affect how long we expect him to come back. If he did end up fracturing the bones of his eye socket or his skull, we're looking at at least a few months recovery time to come back until that bone is fully healed. Because in soccer, you know, there's a lot of head impact, whether it's a header or another player colliding with him. We don't want to further fracture his bones. Now, that's what we're going to be looking at. Hopefully all runs well, and hopefully there's no signs of fracture, hopefully there's no signs of brain tissue damage. He's going to go through the right concussion protocol, they're going to exercise him, see how his heart rate responds to exercise, how his level of consciousness and the alertness responds to exercise, how his blood pressure responds, and then hopefully in a few weeks they'll have him back on the field and be, we'll be happy to see him. Alright, so if you enjoy this type of video, this type of content, please hit the subscribe button. My name is Soccer Doc from Dr. Physical Therapy, and I love bringing you guys the medical side to your favorite players and letting you guys know when can you expect them from injury, giving you guys an update of what's going on. Alright, all the best. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.